The volume of your sample or sound is not the only thing that you can modify with an envelope. You can actually use an envelope to modify the effects of the filter or the effects of modulation that you might have assigned. Right now, I've got a nice backwards reverse piano sound. This is the perfect type of sound since it evolves kind of over time to really use an envelope to shape a little bit differently with something else. So we've already looked at amplitude. We've got filter and modulation. I'm going to use this to control the filter. All I have to do is enable the filter. And now I can make some decision as to when I want to hear the filter enacted. I'm going to bring the decay down to zero as well as the sustain and the release. So the filter remains static the whole time now. Well, the filter's definitely doing something, so that helps. Now, let's give it a sustain level, a place to settle the filter into, and then I'm going to give it a decay amount. How long will it take to get there? I'm going to give it two seconds to reach that. Did you hear the filter start to kick in over the course of two seconds? All of a sudden, now the filter takes a little time to get to its sustain value. I can have the filter not even kick in until a little while, so I can alter the attack level of the filter. Let's have that go for two seconds, and we'll have the decay happen over three and a half. So lots of control over that filter section. Now it's not just a filter that's happening, it's a filter that's happening at a rate that I have decided. You can also put an envelope on your modulation source as well and determine when you want the modulation to kick in. All you have to do is have some sort of modulation enabled and then play with the envelope down here. You actually have four different modulation envelopes to choose from. And you may notice that some of them have a little picture. If it does, that means that it's not a simple envelope like this with ASDR. If it has more than four elements in it, it becomes a little bit more complicated. You can open up the envelope zoom to see, well, there's quite a bit more than four elements. It's not just attack, decay, sustain, release. You've got an actual programmed shape of your modulation going on there in this case. If you don't want to use that for your envelope, you can hit this little X button and go back to the simple ASDR setup. Well, as you can see, enabling envelopes in the filter and modulation section can really help you shape your sound in an interesting way. Experiment with it and come up with some really cool takes on sounds that are already in the preset library.